Hey guys, so this week we're going to talk about the Dust Bowl. Um, the Dust Bowl is a thing, that event that happened at the same time the Great Depression was happening. So the Great Depression started and happened in 1929, and then between the 1930 and 1936, the Dust Bowl was occurring generally around the same time as the Great Depression. So both those things went hand in hand and caused the Great Depression to be much worse for a lot of the country. Um, so today we're going to talk about the causes, where it primarily happened, when it happened, and the effects it had on people. So the first thing we're going to talk about is the causes. So there are a bunch of different causes, and we'll talk about each of them in different videos this week. Um, but very quickly, the causes are an extended amount of drought, so a lack of water. Um, so this gift is going to show you that. So you have you know beautiful green, you have water, and then the water runs out, everything dies. Um, that's an extended drought. And so this drought went on for a long period of time. We're not talking about a couple days. We're talking months of no water um, in some places you know, the entire time from 1930 to 1936, they went without water. Uh, and usually high temperatures was another part that they had to deal with. Um, a lot higher temperatures meant that the surface water would evaporate and then not come back. Uh, if they used the water to water any crops or anything else, it would evaporate and like I said, not come back because they weren't getting any more rain to replenish it. And that also killed a lot of the crops that they had um, to work with. The next thing was poor ag agricultural practices. And so that means things like over farming. And so this political cartoon kind of shows you that. So they have a farmer, you know, using his, you know, machine to harvest the corn and leaving dead soil and animals behind him. So over farming means that they use the land too much. Uh, they don't rotate the land. They just leave. They just keep farming over and over and over again, and the land runs out of nutrients. So that's over farming as well. Poor agricultural practices. Wind erosion, which was also a a um, bad thing that happened during the Dust Bowl is once that soil was overworked, overused, instead of being soil, it turned into dust, and then the wind would take off that top layer of soil as well. So next we're going to talk about where it happened. Uh, Central Plains, Kansas, Colorado, New Mexico, Oklahoma, Texas uh, forced thousands of people to leave their homes. Here's a map that shows most of the affected areas. The red is the worst. Um, they had the most severe damage from um, windstorms. Um, the yellow areas had windstorm damage as well, and then states that were affected by it, but ne not necessarily the area affected by the dust bowls in the um, brown right there. So most of, you can see North Texas and where we live over here in McKinney, um, were all affected by the dust bowl in that area. And this is all the farmland. It's known as the breadbasket of the United States. This is where most of the wheat and grains are grown in the U.S. and where all the dust bowl damage was really contained to. So at the same time as the Great Depression, um, all of these countries are dealing with that problem as well. They're also dealing with the lack of food because of all this farmland um, has been taken out of uh, use as well. Uh, so next we're going to talk about when. So when, like I said earlier, between 1930 and 1936, it's known as the Dirty Thirties because of how much dust and dirt and stuff that was flying around this area. So it happened for about six years during the worst times of the Great Depression. So the Great Depression started in 1929. It ended around 1940, 1941, with the start of World War One or World War Two, rather. So this is the beginning of that time period, and it, like I said, was around the worst time of the Great Depression. So not only were they losing money and banks were failing and businesses were failing, but also crops were failing because of the Dust Bowl. So we're going to look at how people were um, affected. So people and animals died, crop failure happened, towns were wiped out due to people having to relocate. Very similar to how we talked about ghost towns with the oil boom. A lot of ghost towns happened because of the Dust Bowl as well. And um, a focus on new farming practices, which led to less erosion. And so here are some pictures that happened during this time period. These were in Texas. Um, these three women are wearing masks um, that were used to help filter out the dust particles and get yourself somewhere safe during dust storms because it's very dangerous to be outside during these dust storms. Here is a dust cloud coming. You can see the little farm community right here um, with the dust storm coming towards it. I mean, it looks like this unsurmountable wall of dust and wind coming towards them. That happened after the crops had already obviously been over farmed and had gone through extreme drought. Those dust storms would pick up with heavy winds. Here's one of the more famous photos from the Great Depression um, of a, a woman and her two children um, camping outside of their vehicle on their way to go west looking for a better opportunity. 
and then here is a farm in Texas as well. After a dust storm went through, you see a wagon um, was left of it right here, and a car was left of it as well, and you see a barn in the background, and you can see how high that dust would pile up from uh, these dust storms. So it was very dangerous, um, and many people did lose their lives being caught in the dust storms as well. So the last thing we're going to look at is just some other pictures um, from this time period. Give you a little more um, images of it. Like I said, here's a, another farm. Here's a child who's playing in a California camp where then they'd first arrive there, they'd stay there while they were looking for work. Here's a car trying to outrun a dust storm. This is in the Panhandle in Texas. Girl in a car on their way looking for work. Here's a boy in the midst of a dust, dust storm in Oklahoma. So you can just see it wasn't a very easy time to live. And like I said, very few uh, work was available. Here's another dust cloud. Here's some children um, staying in a camp on their way to California in 1936. And so the Dust Bowl, like I said, causes were extreme drought, unusually high temperatures, poor agricultural practices, uh, wind erosion. Uh, it affected people mostly in Colorado, Kansas, New Mexico, Oklahoma, Texas. It happened between 1930 and 1936. And like I said, many people and animals um, died, crop failure, towns were wiped out, and many people had to relocate and move to other areas and they had to adopt new farming practices. So we'll talk more about those causes and the effects that it had on people as well. Thanks guys.